Good afternoon. I'm Amrit Panu, and this is your J Channel WEBN News Update. Over 200 Boston Medical Center workers protested a scheduled visit by First Lady Melania Trump to a hospital program. On Wednesday, hospital employees had a late morning demonstration outside the hospital. The White House said in a statement the visit would focus on cuddling assets and lowering maternal and infant stress program, also known as the CALM program, which uses volunteers to help comfort babies born with opioid dependency. Three women and six children were killed in an ambush near the U.S.-Mexico border. The victims were dual Ameri Mexican and American citizens for decades and were practicing Mormons. Several children survived the attack, all of whom have been taken to Arizona for treatment. This is one of many attacks by cartels or groups of organized criminals. Mexico's president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, vowed to address the war on drugs and the roots of crime by attacking poverty. Pierre Campbell, the head of the United Nations Palestinian Refugee Aid Agency, resigned Wednesday as the UN investigates possible misconduct. The agency works with more than 5 million refugees in a variety of areas, including the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and Syria. However, the UN began investigating Campbell in March due to allegations of, quote, unsatisfactory conduct, end quote according to an agency spokeswoman. And now we have Jichen Liu with the weather. What do you have for us today? Hello everyone, here's today's weather for Boston's next week. We're going to have a chilly weekend. Saturday is going to be a high of 44 degrees and a low of 35 degrees. Sunday is going to be a high of 51 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Next week is mostly cloudy, cold days with a possible raining on Tuesday. This is all I have. I'm Jiachen Liu. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Yu Chen. The year's American Music Awards will feature Billie Eilish and Lizzo. Both of the singers will be taking the stage at the AMAs for the first time. Lizzo is up for three trophies, including Best New Artist and Favorite Female Soul R&B Artist. The AMAs are happening November 24th in Los Angeles at the Microsoft Theater. Previously announced performers include besties Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift. Fans of Taylor Swift are hoping she wins at least two of the five categories she's nominated in. If she does, she will pass Michael Jackson on the all-time AMA's winner list. Thank you for watching this J Channel WEBN News update. I'm Amrit Panu. Have a great rest of your day.